Hear about the contract. Whew. A taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any what. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the dead white wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fiber, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. I've got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. Trail's gone cold. Need to look around. Ask. Maybe someone's seen him. Bloodstains. Months old. to these parts, Master. Lost your way? No. Looking for someone. Ah. Do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place, exactly? A village. Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work, and the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Blood stains in the hut next door. Know anything about that? Aye, of course. Judd got game in there. In someone else's hut? None live there no more, see? And working neath the roof, it's more pleasant, civilized. Rain don't whip and sun don't blind. But why poke your nose in there to start with? Do better to give an old couple some peace. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Until he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. 
Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. Well, he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. So long. Hmm. Rotting meat. Fulkert, ripped open, gutted and drained. No way to determine the cause of death. larder. Meat-rich diet. That what you like? Master, not at all. Tain't like that. Best hope not, or you'll be next to get a hook through your neck. The wolves killed him. Him and the others. We but gather the bodies. That's the truth. We're old and frail. We've no strength to plow or sow, but we gotta eat. I pity, Master. Vow never to eat another bite of human flesh, and I'll let you live. Oh, I swear. Swear it on dear Mother Melitale, on the eternal fire, on... Keep the gods out of it. Swear on your heads, which I will take if you break your vow. I... I... we swear. You live in the middle of nowhere. It's out of my way. But I'll be back. Better believe I'll be back. Hey there. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. Ran into trouble. A freak event. Of what type? Did monsters attack him? Mm-hmm. Could say that. Ah. A treasure, that lad. Dutiful. Mannered. Such a shame. Well, here's your gold. I trust it will serve you well. Formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. So long. <laughs>